safety rules were brought in. And now we have Graham Randall of Great Britain fighting Patrick Reiter of Austria. This is for the bronze medal, the under 78 bronze medal fight, the repercharge bronzes, two bronzes per category. And Randall in the extra red belt there is a very sticky fighter. He's a groundwork man, likes to beat them on the ground. He's got a lot of uh, interesting moves down there, but uh, Reiter opens up the score. Randall tries to go into the ground, but the referee stands him up fairly quickly. Graham Randall comes from Edinburgh, 22 years old. Came third in the German Open, 96. Second in the US Open in 95. And attack there by Reiter with Randall settling in, looking for the arm lock. He's got two legs over there. He's trying to pull that arm out. Reiter twisting over and backwards. Traps uh, Randall's legs and then grabs the collar, doing everything he can to stop that arm lock, but manages to extract his head and weathers that one. Skillful uh, ground fighter like Randall should have had that arm, but uh, Wright has been around a long time. He was third in the Europeans this year, third in the Europeans last year, and won the Europeans in 95 when he beat Boras. So a lot of experience by this Austrian, Patrick Reiter. This is the five minute final. One minute, 10 seconds gone. And no scores at this point. And there's uh, an attempt at the uh, Uchimata, left sided. Which Randall weathers. And Reiter drops face down into the mat. So Randall usually likes the other player to attack. There's a dropping uh, uh, Kataguruma, that's a shoulder lift. But Reiter flew over the top, landed on his face, no score. Randall likes, as I was saying, likes to let the other one turn in for a throw, takes a very deep grip with one of his hands, tries to get behind, got a series of techniques where he drops down from behind or picks them up. There's the right hand going in deep. You see that right hand in deep, then gets behind, as I was saying, and then locks both legs round, turns him over, starts to look for the strangle. There's the right arm going uh, over the shoulder and round under the neck. There you see the hand just over the chin. Now looking for the arm lock, the legs comes over. Uh, but Reiter hanging on tight there. And bridging. Quite skillful at bridging out of some of these dangerous uh, groundwork positions. And the referee stands them up. At the slightest hint of uh, a stalemate down there. Still no scores. Two minutes 43 seconds to go of this five minute bronze medal fight. And Reiter coming right the way over, left side fighter. Randall once again, happy to go to the ground. And Reiter this time coming on top. And there he's locked tight round uh, Randall's upper body. Uh, Randall there traps the leg. If the leg's trapped, Reiter cannot get the hold. And Reiter there's using his other leg to push the leg free. But he's got this tight grip round the neck. You see him levering the neck there. Uh, he's not allowed to endanger the neck in judo, so getting, possibly getting a bit close to the rules, but he's lifting. Now, some might say that Randall's got to hold him, though his head's trapped underneath. He's basically on top, but the referee hasn't given it. There you see the head trapped really tight. And there, chance for a hold down there. Randall coming over the top. Takes the arm, but Reiter twists out of it again. Extremely exhausting, this groundwork fighting. Now you see a gasp there from Randall at the end of that. Nearly had him. Done extremely well to come this far in the championships, Randall. Especially with his style. It's not a big throwing style. It's more wear them down, war of attrition, and get them on the ground, which is... Uh, need a lot of strength and a lot of stamina to win consistently like that. Reiter attacks there with the Uchimata, but gets squashed in, pushed in on his face by Randall. There's a Koji attack. Reiter spins out of that. Agile fighter there, gets out of a lot of trouble with those spins. And more groundwork attacks by Randall on the ground. So he's looking in tight there, looking for, trying to wrap his legs round. There you see the left arm coming up on the collar. Trying to push him over backwards and then they're, they're trying to push the shoulder down. Once again, Reiter turns out. 
Now, this is... Uh, he's got him trapped, but it doesn't count as a hold, even though his neck and shoulders were pinned to the ground. So still no scores on the clock. There you see the scoreboard. Three zeros against three zeros. It's a hard, gruelling fight. And there's a dive down there by Randall, going in a bit too low there. They cannot put in false attacks. False attack uh, invites a penalty score, and he cracked his knee there as he went down. I don't know what he hit. Maybe crashed into the other, into uh, Reiter's knee himself. But they're just rubbing it. Not a wrench knee, maybe just a knock knee, a bang knee. Just on the side there. Not allowed to receive uh, hands-on treatment and get advice. Seems to be okay. So it'll be interesting to see what he gets for that low dive. May get penalised for that. No, he seems to be okay after that knock. So nothing on the scoreboard. And the referee continues on 50 seconds to go. Absolutely no scores at all. Difficult to say who's going to get this one. Both men attacking. And uh, Reiter attacks, tries to lift up with the left uh, Uchimata in a, thry, in a throw, but uh, Randall rides that. Looks confident there. Bronze medal not far away from his grasp. Deep grip and hip goes in. Reiter trying a left. There's a turnover. Chance for Randall to spin him over on his back and going for a hold down, but Reiter's an uh, experienced fighter and weathers these uh, groundwork attacks. So 17 seconds to go, still no score, and Reiter comes across. He's putting in the attacks at this point. Randall's got to get him more standing attacks. He's got to convince the referees that he's ahead on attacks because if there's no scores, it'll be the number of attacks that counts. So, very close. Seconds to go. Good attack there by Randall. Maybe too late. Comes in rather low there. And the referee stops the match. Three, four seconds to go. And he, Randall just bends down. And he gets penalised for a false attack. Didn't look like a false one to me. I think he was just pulling down low. And there the clock goes. And that last minute attempt by Randall gives away the bronze medal in the under-78 bronze repercharge fight. So unfortunate there, it would have been anybody's fight. Wouldn't like to have called that one at the end. But the strict interpretation of the rules by the referee gave it to Patrick Reiter of Austria. Bronze medal, under 78 categories. And Randall has to be content with fifth place. But stay with us, we'll be back shortly after the break with more judo action.